I thought to myself this morning, I thought it's ages since I put a video on my blog, so lucky you, you can listen to me rabbiting on, um, probably wittering on about nothing, but the reason was, was this, I've continued working on this last night, I've posted this before, but not in this, this um, stage of progression, but then I thought I may as well show you this on camera as well that I put on the blog yesterday, because it really is lovely, and when I said about joining the sections, for example, that's an area there where the one, two sections were joined, okay, because this is three pieces. And again, here, I just love the opportunity to create that kind of surface. So that's why it was made in three pieces instead of one big one. I think there's something unique about that. I think if I'd have just made one piece of cloth and stitched, etc., I wouldn't have that. Maybe... Because I know that that's how that happened, maybe that gives me a better insight into that and a better appreciation of that. Um, but that is why I did that, and that's part of what I love about that. But And I've just kind of like, I mean, here, that line that just flows around there, it's just wonderful, it's lovely to have that in your hand, okay? Um, now, this one, I've been making this for ages, and it's been, sadly, a little bit left to one side. But I wanted to get it finished and it's just, the video is just to perhaps show you better how it is and um, what it, what's gone on on here. There's black fluff everywhere, that's because I wear black clothes all the time. Right, so this is a very fine bit of vintage lace and that's just got a running stitch edge on there. But here, you see I'm pulling, I'll pull in, I'll pull in. Right, but here loops and loops and loops of bullion knots loops and loops just loads of them i mean i love it i love it i love it and then along here there's kind of like a little encrusted strip narrow strip hundreds of french knots and little tiny web stitches okay and then here there's inserts that um snippet cloth that i put in the shop the other day i had something i'd made for myself to use and there's bits of that in here Okay, that I've placed in here in these spaces. And here, perhaps that's a better illustration. In there. Okay. And then I've got a little bit of a plique here. This is metallic silk tissue. And French knots running up there, hugging that edge up there with more buttonhole lace around there. And then these are just laces that I've laid over to create this surface. I'm not going to go into how I do it because it's part of my classes. But it's just laces that are laid in such a way and joined in such a way that all these random areas form that are perfect for enhancing with buttonhole lace and areas that are open that can be emphasised with buttonhole lace like there and there and there and on this one I've added a lace frill for example bullion knots around that one you know so it's really really encrusted and then down here this is a bit of solid silk <coughs> Another little bit of black fluff. If you ever buy anything off me and there's little bits of black fluff, I do apologise. But I do wear black all the time, mostly anyway. Bullion knots all along there. And bullion knots all along there. And then again, just hand finished with running stitch. Now it's not finished yet this. I've edged it, these edges last night, and hemmed them on the back neatly. Neatly, neatly notice, very neat. And now I'm just finishing them with tiny buttonhole stitches okay down these edges and then this will be going in the shop as well but i mean this has only been in a day and nobody's bought it yet maybe nobody ever will buy it but it's no chore to me to have this here to keep holding and the same will apply to this and the only well selling them how much cloth do i need in my house you know what i mean um so i put them in there and if they don't sell it doesn't matter to me because i am always happy to own this kind of thing but look i mean i just absolutely love this here if these were made of metal, they jangle. That's how lovely and free they are. Okay, so that's four minutes nineteen. That's enough rabbiting from me. You don't come here to let me send you to sleep. But I wanted to give you maybe a better look at what's going on on the surfaces of these things, so you could, you know, get a sense of the stitches I've used and the composition of them. I mean, they're just so wonderful to hold in your hand. Just, I mean, I'm so honoured, so privileged to be able to just pick this up and play with it all the time. And that would apply if anybody had made it, not because I've made it, but if anybody had this, you bought it from a shop, just, I mean, well, you either get it or you don't, but it does something to me to be able to hang on to that and just pick it up and hold it, 
Okay.